Hello, Celestials, and my council. Today I would like to talk to the council who speak with Sarah Landon. Um, I'm conducting a bit of an experiment. I want to ask some of the same questions that Mike Dooley asked and see what kind of answers I get. So one of the first questions he talks about was to ask the council, who are you? Why have you come? So sliding aside to receive and calling on council. Hmm. Hello council and thank you for coming and being with me. It is a pleasure and honor to speak with you. So thank you. We are so delighted to be here with you in response to your request to come to you as the council. This is an interesting experiment. It has a bit of a testing feel about it, but we will simply respond to your request and answer the questions that you have set out for us. We want to know who we are and why we have come. So these are the two questions we will address in this session. Hmm. You have heard us say before that you are council here on earth. You have heard it said that the council is all things, all higher selves. And this is still true. But let us get to the core of the question. The actual question that you are asking, wanting to know who we are. We are ascended masters. We have come together to share wisdom and information that has been the asking of the totality of humans. The collection of the majority who are asking, asking, wanting information. This is why we come at this time. Your asking has brought us here at this time. And we come... Mm. To, sh- to confirm, first of all, that we, you are so much more than you believe yourself to be. You are God walking about on the earth, thinking you are little more than a minion here to be of service to others, here to live a life of servitude which has been masked and clouded, but has existed nonetheless. We feel you are returning to the knowing of the magnificence of who you really are, knowing that you are a multidimensional being, knowing that you exist at all times and all places, that you came to earth to experience this awakening, this time of awakening, and to experience things on the physical level, which give it a dimension not available to you when you are not on the physical plane. So who we are, we are ascended masters. We are those you would call Jesus and Buddha and Kuan Yin these names and so many more. These masters, we are a collection of them and they include you and your higher self. We came because we said we would be here. We promised to help you remember, to usher in the remembrance in this golden age. We are here 
so that you remember and never forget that you are here for the joy, you are here for the fun, you are here for the play. We are here to assure you nothing has gone wrong. You continue to evolve along your journey and humans continue to evolve and you are assisting with that human aspect of you to elevate it, to raise it up so that you might live the life you came here to live. You wanted to create your heaven on earth not only for yourself, but to make it a potential for everyone who is wanting it. And by elevating the collective consciousness, you are raising even those who do not know they are asking this with their heart, with their soul. But every cell in their body is striving for more. Every cell in their body is wanting to achieve the love, the happiness. These are the things you came for. It was never about the materialistic things that you used to shore yourselves up and pad your ego with and prove to yourself that you are worthy because you have acquired these things. Truly, it is all about your ascension. It's all about your vibration. <coughs> Adjusting your vibrational frequency so that you can understand and perceive things from a higher level. As you begin perceiving things differently, everything takes shape around it differently. This is the quantum physics reality of your life. This is not Newtonian. These past collective beliefs have brought you as a society, as a collective to this point. Now it is time for a quantum leap forward with the knowing that it is safe to do so. It is safe and you are ready and you are strong enough. The only thing holding you back is this illusion of separation which has been nurtured, instilled on you, reinforced at every possible turn because it serves those who wish you to feel separate, who wish you to not know your power. And it has been a success until now. Now the numbers have tipped. Now there are far more of you who know the truth, who know that the truth has been skillfully kept from you with very, very many different means that all work together to keep you in the dark, to keep you from coming into the light. We are here with you because of the collective desire to come into the light, to be the light, and to usher in the golden age of light and for all to create this new earth. Know that you are creating it with your every choice. Know that your thoughts are not simply nothing's fluttering across your brain. Hmm. These thoughts are creative. And these seeds that you plant in the, uh, the quantum holograph force field. The quantum hologramic force field. The things placed here 
have a life of their own that they wish to live out. And they begin magnetizing, attracting all they need. So we are here to help you be aware of this so that you may make these choices on an informed level. That you might begin to educate yourselves and open your minds. Educating yourself by tuning into things like the wisdom of your body. Your body knows. Every cell in your body knows. Trust your body's wisdom. So where we came from, we have always been here. We've lived our lives and then come back to the collective where we live different lives. But we still come together with the common goal of giving you all the information you need to ascend and to help others ascend with you. And so there have been changes occurring within your body to enable you to take in more light. You make the conscious decision to open yourself up to more light. Consciously intending to broaden your channel that it may receive more light. This light is very healing for your body, very restorative. This is why we are here and why we have come. To help you learn to master your thoughts. This is a remembering of what you forgot. That you did not intend to forget. When you came, when you descended. Which was your choice. What you wanted to do. You wanted to come and be here. You did not intend to cut yourself off of all the support. In fact, this was integral to your agreement to come, that you would have this guidance available to you, that this would be available to you always, constantly. And so we are the collective of all, but we are the highest potential. We are the higher selves. We are the teachers. We are li- living at our highest potential here to guide you in doing the same. Nothing more to add on this topic. We are glad and grateful for these questions. Let this information sink in. Listen to it. 
back again later. Thank you, Council. And now if I can return to my own Council, my own Council of Light, the Celestial Council of Light, thank you so much for bringing them through. And do you have any thoughts for me? What you would like for me today? What would you like me to know today? We are happy and delighted for you to be embarking on this course, Abundance Now, with Sarah. Maybe we will think, we think you will find this enlightening, and it will serve you well. Stay open to the information. We love you. We have nothing to add to this. Take some time and be grateful for your life. Feel where you are. Look around you. See how blessed you are. 